Welcome back to Life is Strange. Okay, so we need to go meet Chloe at the diner. But before that, let's kill another hour just looking around and taking pictures of birds. Because I'm sure Chloe will love that. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Are you the Birdman? Which, by the way, Birdman is an excellent movie. I saw it a little while ago. Oh my god, is it good. It's really, really good. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That was an interesting shot they just had. They just had a shot that showed like a like a tribal totem pole or something. Which is actually pretty clever because it just reminded me of the fact that wasn't this school built on or like around um, Native American land or something? There was something about that in the last episode. I don't remember exactly what though. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Okay, this guy's kind of creepy. You hear the squirrels whisper. Uh... Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, if your spirit animal is a squirrel, does that mean you're destined to stupidly run across the road and get run over? In that case, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. So... What did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. D Samuel hasn't seen anything like that? What? Are you talking in the third person? I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. No. All right, we we saw him once in the last episode. He was the painter guy, right? Yeah, uh, I had no idea he was that creepy. You know, normally I might think that he had something to do with the bad stuff going on. Because he's so creepy, but he's so creepy that I feel like he's a red herring, if nothing else. Like, there's no way. All right, there's got to be a photo opportunity here. Or perhaps I can take a photo of the totem pole. Hmm? Hmm? Can I? Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. <laughs> oh, I can't take a photo of it. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. <gasps> Preparing the shot? Yes, yes, yes. Come on. It's okay. Yeah? Come on. Come on. Come on. How close do I have to get? Oh my god. Here we go. Wowzer. It's hard to get this close to a squirrel. Yes. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. <laughs> it doesn't even care. There's no way you can get this close to a squirrel, by the way. Hell no. It would run away so fast. Squirrels are extremely skittish. Let's go raid the supply closet for no reason. Well, I've already looked at that before. There's no reason to do anything here. Wait, what? What is this? I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Yeah.
Hmm? What does that symbol mean? I don't remember what that symbol means. Is that a new entry in the diary? Um, well, I do have a new entry, but I don't think it's related to what just happened. Just talking about um, talking to Kate, I'll read that later. I don't remember what that symbol means. It's something, something significant, like a new piece of evidence or something? I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? He is awfully suspicious. Alright, so hold on one second. Let me dig around in the menus and see if I've missed something. I'm thinking maybe that icon meant that I gathered more evidence, because it looks like that's what this is. Like, my folders of evidence. If I go to the school, it looks like these things show up. I think so. As far as I can tell, that's it. But I also noticed something else in here. This. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. And too easy to sneak into. I wonder if we can talk to him about the stuff that I found in there. Let's see. Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. Ah, here we go. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but... Why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found. Like you. That's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. Yeah, quite literally. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you... Hmm. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I'm, I'm not even going to talk to you. You're stupid. Well, sorry to exist, Taylor. On that, we agree. Do you mind? Leaving? Thanks. Rachel owes me money, pay up, bitch. What the hell? These messages. Another one from a private number. I'm looking around because I'm wondering if, like, Samuel... <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if you turned around and saw Samuel messing with his phone at that e exact instant? It'd be mighty suspicious. Oh, this is Nathan's father, alright. Message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many law lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Oh, yes, very polite. Max, check it out! Lauren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway... I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. I should probably thank him. He did take a punch for me. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, <laughs> she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? <laughs> Just a pirate. An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. 
Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Um... I don't... I don't want to get him involved. No. He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Hmm. You don't mean like right now, right? Well, I can always rewind time, I suppose. Yes? Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Watch, that's gonna be the thing that gets everybody killed. Man, five years from now I'm gonna go, if I didn't go see those ape films with Nathan Prescott, I mean Warren, Warren Buffett, I mean Warren, um, I'd still be alive. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Storm's coming. And God, this game looks so good. Like, really, it's so good looking. They just nailed the art style. I just, I just want to go everywhere. Can I run across the road? Excuse me. Oh my god, she's tall, or I'm short. Yep, I'm ready to cash my lottery ticket. Glad somebody is. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery ticket. Can't wait to be rich. Yep. Uh, really? Yeah, <laughs> you have a million dollar lottery ticket? I very much doubt it. 
Also, what does that novelty license plate say? The killing? Like, the TV show? Who messaged me? Chloe? I'm almost there! I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Oh, come on, I'm here. Just just give me two hours to get inside, okay? No time for chit-chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Uh-huh. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Hmm. Prices are going up around here or something? I feel like there's a little nugget of information that doesn't really matter at the moment, but it's going to be more relevant later on or something. I don't know. I just want to take a look around and see if I can steal people's cars. There's got to be a picture opportunity somewhere. Oh, it looks like all the cars have, like, references to, to other stuff. And yeah, I know I missed a bunch of photo opportunities in the last episode, so I don't want to miss them here. Most of these, I just have no idea what the hell they're referring to. That's a problem with novelty license plates. There's usually not enough characters to have anything coherent. And hello! Oh, hi, doggy! Oh, this is the RV! The one that I, uh, painted the, um, the wash me, like, smiley face on the back of when it was in the school parking lot, I think. And also the one that we saw at the end of the last episode, when it was snowing and the guy came out. The guy with a, a bong or whatever. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Is it still on there? Oh, it is! Obviously, nobody took my advice. That is so cool. See? When video games talk about having consequences to your actions, this is what I mean. If I write I'm dirty in the dust on an RV in an episode, I want to see that... I want to see the consequences of that action reflected throughout the entire rest of the game. And it is. So the dog doesn't bite off my face. Uh, stop that! Stop! No barky. And he is high out of his mind. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Yeah, okay, so I'm not getting through there, am I? Nope. Well, given that he was shown at the end of the last episode, and of course his RV has shown up before, I think he's going to become relevant later on. Like, look at that! What, is that, what does that even mean? Not, <laughs> people trying to fit, like, long things in a novelty license place just looks ridiculous. Nathurth. Nathurth. Nice. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. And the man-made drought in the bay. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay, crusty fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. <laughs> Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. By Neptune's beard? That That is actually very appropriate... terminology You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. 
Really? So the Prescotts are even more pieces of shit than I thought. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. But I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. <laughs> I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Oh, I can't run across the road. Oh, invisible wall. I think what would have been really funny is if you can run across the road, but it just always, it's like Frogger. Like you always just get smushed going across and you have to rewind time or something. That would be good. Well, okay, that'd be ridiculous, but it'd be fun. Bacon and eggs, five ninety-five. Old fashioned service. Newspapers are going to be retro soon. Soon? They're retro already. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! I don't think you quite grasp the significance of this... of this abnormal weather event. How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that, or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. In a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall that briefly hit Arcadia Bay, Oregon, this week. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb, made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. Better treat her right. Yeah. <laughs> Given how I've seen him behave with Chloe, I don't think so. I don't think that's happening. I don't think he treats anybody right. Lippent. Ew. 
That is gross. There's got to be a photo opportunity back here, right? Something. No? Oh, here we go. Let's check out that photo. There it is. I, w I really wish I could zoom in on it, but I can't. Alright, Chloe, just two more hours and I'll be inside the diner, okay? I don't want to go that way. <gasps> Going too far one way and being turned around outside of a diner? What does that remind me of? Indigo prophecy. Alright, hold on. Before I go inside, let me check my diary. I don't want this to get too long. Because if I leave it too long, there's going to be like 200 pages to read. Where did I stop? Um, uh, creepy text. I, I think I stopped about here. Oh my god. They've already gathered up quite a bit, haven't they? Um, I'm not sure if I want to read this, though. I, I feel like the diary mostly... I, I don't know. I feel like it mostly is more useful for kind of just bringing you up to speed on what's happened if you've forgotten. I mean, it has a bit of Max's personality in it, of course, but... Yeah, I feel like that's mostly for reminding you. I know I read it last time, but I don't think I actually want to anymore, unless I need to remind myself. Yeah, so I don't think I'll read it unless I need to remind myself of something. smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Makes me feel hungry. Now I want to eat. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Wait, what did that say? Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Prescott Development invites you to live within the woods. Prescott Development. Of course they own development in this place. They own everything, apparently. Oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. These fishermen are so damn quiet. Can I just talk to random people? Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. All right. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? <laughs> what? All right. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Yeah, have you ever stared at one of those old, not just, whoops. Not just gumball machines, but just any kind of a candy machine, and just think, I wonder how many dozens of years that's been there, because nobody buys that stuff. This guy has serious corners. Oh look, it's George R. R. Martin. A uh, local captain, fisherman, and marine expert with 30 years experience will take, you, uh, take your group on a three-hour tour of Arcadia Bay's lush and exotic aquatic kingdom. Jack will not only explain the importance of our marine life to the ecosystem, he will even help you catch and prepare your own fish from the sea. Well, I guess if you can't catch fish, give tours. Why does that so not sound fun? I might make Chloe check this out with me. <laughs> Sasquatch field trip. Oh, there's something about this font that annoys me. I don't know what this font is, but I know I've seen it before and I don't like it. It's some, like, comic... Is, is that Comic Sans or something? I don't know. Ugh. 
It's not quite papyrus bad, but it's bad. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. I'm literally doing everything but talking to Chloe. In fact, where even is Chloe? I, I don't actually see her. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. You in the bathroom, Chloe? Oh god, Kate Marsh, like, graffiti is already spreading because of the video? That graffiti has been here forever. Gross. <laughs> so does your mom. Fire walk with me? Isn't that a reference to Twin Peaks or something like that? Hey. There's my spirit animal. Thank you, redneck poet. <laughs> what do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Smile for a picture. Kachink. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Uh, I'm really not. No, I've been here many times. It's like a fourth home. <laughs> I wish I could make the two whales my first home. Joyce making rocket coffee or juicy burgers any time. Mm. <laughs> you look about Chloe's age. You know Chloe? How do you know her? Uh, anyway. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Yeah, I don't think anybody's David Madsen's friend. He doesn't have friends. Hmm. I think he knows that David's a dick, so I'm just gonna, you know, kind of be honest with him. He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. Uh, look, if you're not fit to be a cop, I don't know if you're fit to be a campus security guard. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. Well, if you really want to help her, then why don't you do something about David? So, do you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Uh... Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I just tell the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I don't know if I want to talk to him anymore. I don't entirely trust him. Not if he has respect for David Madsen. I don't trust anybody who has respect for David Madsen. Uh, I gotta go. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. 
I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. <laughs> Nobody talks like that. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Well, it's not hard to be smarter than you. Dumbass. Uh, I mean... Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Have a nice day. Ooh, that looks delicious. What the hell is even stuff about the Vortex Club here? Drool. Want everything. Mmm, <laughs> donuts, muffins, cookies, pound cake. Is this where I'm supposed to meet her? I guess so. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. Looks fun. I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. I forgot about the fishing wall of fame. And two hours later, I think it's finally time to sit down. So where is Chloe? she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? <laughs> it's nothing to do with what she told me, it's what I saw. I have enough experience with him to know that I don't have to rely on anecdotal evidence to know that he's a piece of shit. Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. 
He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. That's no excuse. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? <gasps> I get to choose? Oh. Is this gonna be like what I chose to get Reza in Dreamfall chapters? Is this gonna be like a game-changing thing? Hmm. Bacon omelette or Belgian waffle? Belgian waffle sounds better. It sounds better for you and the chance of food poisoning is lower. So the chance of this going catastrophically wrong seems lower if I go with a Belgian waffle. So let's do that. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Everything's become inflated, of course. Well, still seems like pretty good prices. Dollar fifty for coffee, that's fine. Yeah, that's reasonable. Cheeseburger, like five, six bucks. Waffle at twelve o'clock hot. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. <laughs> what does that say? X plus Y equals Z? Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is, a this is like fourth dimensional deja vu. No I keep going back in time. Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Oh, I can even look out the window? That is so cool. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. That's true, I could just keep reliving this again and again. Hmm? Food? <gasps> I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Uh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. 
So she's gonna show me, and then okay, I'm gonna go Max. back in time, right? Impress me. Well, at the moment, I don't know, but later on, I think I will. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pocket. <laughs> That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Go back. There we go. Alright, so I saw cigarettes, money, like a receipt and like a keychain thing. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Alright, well, there's keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Easy. Um, there's a... There's a, like a character or a face or something, so I guess... Was that a skull? A skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so... Wrong, Max. Wait, what? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually... In Hold on, what's on her keychain? Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Right, cigarettes, what's the brand? It's upside down, does it say cig whatever, who cares? Coins? Oh, is she gonna wanna know? I'll write this I'll write this shit down. She's got three quarters, one nickel, and five pennies. Alright, I got that. Uh warning ticket. Ticket. Does she want the date? I can tell her everything. Um Franklin Street, write that down. I probably don't even need to do this. She probably re remembers it herself and it just shows up as a dialogue option, but I don't care. 9, 21, 13. 10, 34 a.m. Okay. This is me telling you what's okay, Max. I'm help. All right, there's a parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Ah, that was 10:34 a.m. 10:34 a.m. Booya! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. All right, there's some keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. Pixel art? No, no, no. It's a panda. Or is it a penguin? No, it's a panda. It's a panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Oh shit, you want me to do math? Oh god, alright, three quarters, so that's uh, 75 cents, plus five cents for the nickel, plus five pennies, so that is, uh, 85. Wait, wait, what? I must have miscounted. That can't be right. It's not 25 cents, and 82 and 85 aren't in five cent increments. Uh, whatever, it's 86. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? <gasps> oh fuck, I didn't count! Oh, okay, it wasn't full, so it's not 13. It's definitely less than 13, it's either 6 or 7. Seven? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. 
I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more, something way cooler, so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay, she waves to me. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! Okay, we good? I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay, so... No, the cop didn't drop his glass. Trucker? No, it's not Trucker, so I guess it's gotta be Trevor. Trevor drops his glass. Trevor drops his glass, and Justin makes fun of him. So, what happens next? Then... Alert on cop's radio and he leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Um... No, she doesn't encourage them. Doesn't care, stops them? I guess she stops them. Yeah, Joyce stops them from fighting. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. I didn't wait long enough, did I? Crap. Alright. I thought the wave would be part of it. Oops. That is did so Did you wrong. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think don't not, slap Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, crazy woman. What you doing? Go in the bathroom. All right. That's the best song I've ever This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Okay. I'm going. Right, Trevor drops his glass. Trevor. So what happened? Alert on cops radio, and he leaves. Oh, well, oh wait, no. So I guess I got that wrong. Alert. Uh, his partner leaves, right? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. So Joyce stops him from fighting. Justin and Trevor. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And then... <laughs> Jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. <laughs> what? Uh, the truck... Wait. What did cause it to play? Was there actually somebody at the jukebox? I didn't see anybody get up. Trucker plays a new song? I don't think so, but... Hmm. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I might have messed up the last one. There's no way a, a freaking butterfly landed on it and made the jukebox go crazy, right? Oops! That is Did so wrong. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. That's so cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. All right, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. But what about the jukebox? Oh, well, there is a cockroach. There is actually a cockroach. Yeah. This is a sad day in Maxville. This is sure the hell better than that other. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. I'm. Trevor drops his glass. 
She said that's so wrong. Does, does she mean that I got that one wrong? Because I'm pretty sure that's right. It wasn't the trucker that dropped his mug. The trucker's the one in the red shirt. It's the, the asshole, isn't it? Trevor? So... Partner leaves. The cop... Well... Joey stops him from fighting. Just... This is good. Jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. Oops. That is Did so wrong. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. So Slap cool, me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Fucking A. This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. Believe me now. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. <laughs> Wait, what? Alright, so I'm getting the first one wrong. It's not the trucker, is it? That asshole in the end, I don't think he's the trucker. I thought that was the guy in the red hat. I'm... It ain't the cop, is it? I guess Trucker drops his mug? The Trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happened? Maybe they're both Truckers, I don't know. I'm not sure who Trevor is, I don't remember. The cop... Well, let's just... Just... This is get... The ju... Pretty... Alright, there we go. I got a special cutscene, so it must be right. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. <laughs> this isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, oh. Check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. So, it's one of those superpowers. The, the kind where you use it too much without knowing how it really works. And it causes your nose to bleed. The first sign that you're overexerting yourself. And then things get worse, of course. And then there's a big confrontation where you have to use your power to save somebody's life, but it drains you so much that you're near death and... Well, we'll come to that later. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. <laughs> you got other people to hang out with? Other people's superpowers like me? Okay, now, let's be realistic. Given what Kate's going through, I absolutely have to answer the phone. This isn't even a question. Who would not answer? She might be about to kill herself, or something. 
She's not in a good place. I have to answer. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. It's not like I won't see her in class later. No, I'm not going to do that. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm, it's the creepy RV guy. <laughs> Is this her hideout? A junk pile? Wait a minute, I think we saw this scene in the this a race? next on Keep up. of the previous how episode. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. So I think I'm gonna have to save her life. And I think I should end this episode here because I think it might be over an hour long already. But um, yeah, if I remember right, at the end of the last episode we saw the next on and I think she was stuck to the train track or something. So, um, I think after this is over, she's really going to believe me about my superpowers. It'll be a, a bonding experience. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.